Hi, this is Barry Hamo. Thank you for stopping by for another dose of bite-sized bits of knowledge where we give you meaningful information in a short amount of time. Today, we're gonna to talk about the concept of elective share. Elective share is really something very interesting. You cannot in disinherit your spouse in Florida. You have to move to Georgia to do that. If you disinherit your spouse, or you give your spouse less than the magic number, which is 30% of your elective estate, your spouse can elect to take 30% of your elective estate. The elective estate is your probate estate plus things that pass outside of probate. So it's, it could be a lot more than you think. And it is a process. It requires affirmative filings. It requires disclosures in the probate process that we just talked about. So it's really important to understand that spouses in Florida have rights. They have the rights to inherit. We mentioned them, subsequent partners, subsequent spouses in my, my brief overview at a high level. This is where it kicks in. They have rights to your assets. If you want your assets to go to your family and not a subsequent spouse, you gotta do some planning because elective share will kick in. They have the rights, if they execute those rights, if they ex exercise those rights, it's what's going to happen. It's, it's very simple. So please understand elective share is important to take into consideration in your planning or decision not to plan. Thank you for stopping by and stay tuned for more. Hey Mo